when you hold this, it is, like I said, like with the witch's bottles, it is, all of my things, at least for me, I feel that are so full of energy and, and intent, and it's like, when you hold them, it is literally like a rush all over you, you at least when I, how I feel when I hold my objects, because I put a lot of energy and intent into everything I do and everything I make, sometimes so much to the point where afterwards I have to lay down and fall asleep because I feel drained, which is not good, which I really need to do some meditation and, you know, but anyway, I blessed this head of garlic. I blessed it and I cleansed it and I charged it and then I wrote with a sharpie with a mat with a sharpie that I had that I use only for magical purposes because I feel like sharpies are very helpful. I use them a lot. <laughs> I only use that for magical purposes. I don't use it for anything else. I use it for a lot of um when I'm doing my herbs and I write on the lids and stuff and I use it for that or I use it to inscribe things like I don't use it for any kind of mundane purpose ever and I drew some Italian horns on it beginnings female power transformation protection divinity abundance Oh, I love it. I love it very much. I am just, it's very strong and powerful. And I keep these, this on the window seal, uh, right in our kitchen. I was going to show it to you at the window seal, but like I said, I've been at work, working a lot lately, so the dishes need to be done, and I don't want to show you <laughs> over there, because today I need to knock that out, and they're, my kids' toys are all over the living room floor. That's why I don't want to show you there either, so I'm going to knock that out today. <laughs> but this is something, I mean... In a way, I would feel kind of silly selling these in my shop because anybody could do it. Obviously, you know, it's just garlic. I mean, but I feel like it's the intent and the energy I'm selling. Like, I wouldn't sell it for, like, $15 or something ridiculous. But I love sharing my stuff and my ideas. And I love, you know what I mean? And so a part of me really would like to sell this in my shop. But at the same time, I don't want people to look at me like, really? You're selling garlic? <laughs> like... Come on now. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I guess, just let me know. People, just let me know. If you think if you think that would be a good idea, or if you think that's, like, selfish or stupid or whatevs. <laughs> because I just, I feel like it's more of the, in the energy and the intent. Because any witch can do it. Any witch can do it their own. But I don't feel like, like, if, okay, my oil I'm going to show you next. Or even this garlic. This garlic and the, my oils are going to feel and have a different energy than another witch who can make the exact same oil, the exact same garlic. It's different though because we have our own patterns. We have our own energy and we have our own intent. You know what I mean? So I just, I feel that no matter how hard you try to make the same thing as another witch, it's going to be different and it's going to feel different and you're going to be able to tell. And that's, I'm not just saying that, I'm not saying it like bragging, oh, you can't make it like me. I'm just saying from my experience, I have tried so many times to make things that I see another witch do or something and I can't, for some reason, I can't get the feeling that I got off of it or I can't get the feeling that I got from watching them do it on YouTube. You know, it's, I don't know. I mean, you, people might disagree with me on that, and that's cool. Like, that's fine if you do it like that. I'm not saying in no way, shape, or form I'm the only person who can make this. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying that for me, at least when I try, I don't feel that I can get the same energy on something or off doing something that another witch can get. So, that's all. This is my window jar. I made this, too. Literally right before protection week. <laughs> um, I have some things. It's not really done. It was kind of just put together quickly. I felt like I needed it. But the funny thing is, when I made it, that night I was closing the window. I accidentally knocked it over. And some of it spilled. And I was upset at first. I was like, shit. I'm like, oh man, I just got salt everywhere. And when I picked the salt up, it just like, I don't know, like, something happened it just felt like it needed to fall I it I honestly felt like you know it's got a spirit of its own it needed to fall it wanted to fall and it wanted to spread its salt everywhere it wanted to shed 
a little light, you know, it wanted to bring a little bit of cleanliness, cleansing with the salt and the herbs to the counters. It wanted to fall. It wanted to be there. You know, it, it needed to add a little extra oomph into, into the floor, into the counters. And I mean, it wasn't a lot. I don't know. I might sound silly, but it just, at first I was upset until I actually picked up the salt in my hand. I went to clean it and I kind of spread it around everywhere after that because I just felt like I had to. I felt like it was, I needed to. So, but these are my windows jars. I'm going to, when I, I do open my shop, I am going to make these and I definitely will customize. Oops. See, there I go again. Falling. At least it didn't spill. <laughs> um, this isn't really done yet. It was something I put together and then I just haven't had time to finish. I really want to decorate it and add some more things to it. That's why I only... Put a little bit of salt in there because I love salt. Don't get me wrong. Salt is amazing. It is one of my favorite things to use. But there are so many other things that you can use. There is. Like, even different types of salt. You can make blue salt. You can make black salt. You can make red fire salt. You can... I mean, there's so many different things and so many ideas out there. It's like... Sometimes it's, you know... Almost silly to use just salt. You know what I mean? I mean, it's simple though. And it's cheap. And it's easy. It's... Pack the punch, like, don't get me wrong, I love it, but at the same time, there's so many things that you can try and just experiment with, and I love doing that. So, when I do sell these, it might not all come in these jars, this is just a jar I had laying around, I thought I had more, and it's supposed to have a lid, but I can't find it. So, I'm not sure yet. But yeah, um, this one has rosemary and basil and a bay leaf in it. And I'm going to add some more herbs. I'm going to try and add some more salt and stuff. Oh, look, it's cold. So it has, yep, stuck together. So that means it's time to change it out because that means that there is so much negativity. And I could have sworn I felt it yesterday and it was not stuck together. So that means it's time to change. <laughs> yeah, because that's one thing, you know. For me, I feel like, all right, if the salt's going to get this stuck together that quickly, then there's definitely some negativity going on around you. You definitely need to, you know, do some cleansings, and I do. This house, I feel like because of the relationship that me and my husband and my mother have, there's a lot of negativity around here, and it's not good. So, there's a cleansing spell I want to use that a friend of mine gave me. And I'm definitely going to be using it. But yeah, so these are some things that I would love to make. I love making these little kind of knickknacks and doodads and stuff. 